Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about one of the most important things when it comes to mobile devices and that of course is battery life. We always want to have better battery life on our devices at least to get us through the day so we don't have to run around and charge the device all the time. But what can you do about it? Here are five simple hacks that you can do on your iPhone right now that will improve the battery life on your iPhone. And the good thing is that most of these can be automated so you don't have to worry again about performing them. All you have to do is set them up on your device once and you're good to go. Now, another thing that's really, really important that you have to do right now is subscribe to the channel. As most of you guys that watch the videos are currently not subscribed, so that would really help out a lot. And of course, a like would be much appreciated because it will make this video perform much, much better. The first thing you can do is enable low power mode. I know this seems very simple, but let me explain. So low power mode can be enabled, of course, by going to battery, you will have low power mode right here. Now, most people, like probably 90% of people, will just turn on low power mode when the device is on low battery below 20% when you get the pop-up on your device. But actually, low power mode is quite helpful if you use it throughout the day as well. Now, what I would suggest you do is a simple trick that you can do with automations. So, let's say you go to work and you probably don't use that, your iPhone that much while you're at work. So, you don't need to have low power mode disabled. What you can do is go to automation. So, go to go to shortcuts, go to automation, create a personal automation. Now what you can do here is choose the time of the day. So let's say you're working from nine to five, you can set up here time of the day and set here the basically the exact time. So at nine, when you start work, you have low power mode enabled. So your iPhone will save as much battery as it can. So you don't have to use low power mode only when your iPhone is on low battery. So you tap right here, you choose the time. So we can set it at nine here. Tap on next and then just go ahead and search here for low power mode. Set low power mode and here we have on. Tap next. You disable this, don't ask, and you're good to go. Every day when you go to work, low power mode is turned on automatically so it will save a ton of battery on your device. Again, you will have to understand this because I know a lot of people will only turn on low power mode when their device is on low battery, but you don't have to do that. This is actually a great feature and it's really, really helpful. And of course, you won't actually miss anything on your device. It will just turn off some things, some background app refresh and things like that. Of course, your device might perform a bit slower on low power mode, but if you don't really use it that much, if you're at work or at school, you don't need your device to perform at like high levels so you can just go ahead and have low power mode turned on during that time now what you can do with automations here is also set the location so if you just want to do that you can just go ahead arrive at so when you have your location here choose the location maybe your work or your school and then at that location low power mode is turned on automatically and here is a very simple setting that you need to make sure you have turned on and that's auto join on Wi-Fi networks. So the way this works, you go to the list of Wi-Fi networks and you tap the little I button on the Wi-Fi that you want and make sure you have this enabled. Now this should be enabled by default, but you might have that disabled. And when you have this disabled, you will always have to connect manually to that Wi-Fi network. Of course, we have our trusted Wi-Fi, like the work or home Wi-Fi, whatever that is. So you wanna automatically join that Wi-Fi network anytime you get near that. And why that's important, Wi-Fi will consume way less battery than cellular data will. So if you don't have this enabled, auto join the network, you, you get home, you're still connected to your cellular data and LTE, 4G, 5G, whatever that is, that will just drain the battery out of your iPhone. And you probably will even forget to connect your Wi-Fi for a few minutes or maybe even hours. By having this enabled, everything of course is done automatically. So you're always on your Wi-Fi and not consuming a ton of data and battery with cellular data. Now, as I showed you guys how to turn on low power mode automatically, I will show you guys how to turn off Bluetooth automatically. Now, Bluetooth will actually consume a lot of battery. It's always scanning around, of course, for devices. So what you will have to do is make sure that you have Bluetooth turned off as much as possible. Like you go to work, you go to school or 
any time of the day, you know, based on your schedule that you won't need Bluetooth to be turned on, you have to make sure that it is turned off. And you need to turn it off, of course, automatically, so you don't have to worry about having your Bluetooth turned off. And of course, from the control center, that's the easy way, but that won't actually turn it off completely. It just disables the connection. So what you can do is create a personal automation and you can set, of course, location, time of the day or anything else you need. So if we go to time of the day, we can choose, of course, any time we want or maybe sunset to sunrise. That's really important if you just forget your Bluetooth turned on all the time and you have it turned on during the night as well, you can choose here sunset so at sunset it turns off automatically or whatever time you want and then go ahead tap on add action and search for bluetooth set bluetooth and make sure you have it on off right here tap next and of course make sure you have these disabled so you don't have to worry about that it will be turned off automatically so just keep bluetooth turned off as much as possible choose the time of the day or the location whatever you want and that is done automatically alongside bluetooth and low power mode another thing that will really help with battery life is dark mode this of course on oled devices so if you have an iphone that has an oled device when you have low actually dark mode turned on in your device you will have way longer battery life this has been tested and it has been proven to work now the reason for that is that you can see right here all the black basically spaces right here on the screen or pixels of the display that are turned off so basically here and here and around here the device is turned off that way it consumes way less battery so what i suggest you do is use dark mode as much as possible now normally you would have it enabled here on display and brightness you will have this option sunset to sunrise but i suggest you maybe use a custom schedule right here and have it turned on even earlier during the day or of course when you know you're inside so when you're outside and it's sunny it's kind of hard to use dark mode but when you're in places that you know that you're inside maybe inside your home inside your work or anywhere make sure that you have dark mode turned on as much as possible that will save a lot of battery and the other thing is deleting as much apps as possible now you will see this of course when someone is talking about freeing space on your device but apps will actually use a lot of battery on your device those things that you will receive from apps like notifications suggestions from siri background app refresh and all that stuff every app that's on your device even if you're not using it at all in some way it will consume battery out of your device so just make sure you go to your settings general go to iphone storage or you can just go to your app library and take a look at the apps that you have installed on your device if you see the apps that you actually have installed and you don't actually need on your device just make sure you go ahead and delete them because that will help your device have much much better battery life and now that we're done with the five hacks that I believe are super useful when it comes to having better battery life on your iPhone, here are another five quick tips. Make sure you go ahead and turn off Siri suggestions as much as possible. So go to settings, Siri and search, and you will see right here a list of apps that you have. So you can see what you have. Learn from this app, show in app search, show on home screen, suggest app, suggest notifications. You will receive all these kind of things from one app notifications from Siri, suggestions from Siri, all that takes CPU power. That way it takes batteries, battery power as well. That way it will actually consume a lot of battery. Next thing are vibrations, sounds and haptics. You will see right here, you will have the vibration. So this is different because it's on iOS 16, but you can go to accessibility right here and go to touch. You will have vibration here. You can completely turn off for your device. Or if you don't want to do that, just make sure that you have vibration turned off while your device is on ring mode so you don't need actually to have vibration and ringing at the same time so make sure you have this disabled next up airdrop if you're not using airdrop all the time you don't need it all the time make sure you have it turned off go to settings general you will have airdrop right here make sure you turn it off when you don't need it and you're not actually using because this also takes up a lot of battery life then notifications, always make sure that you have your notifications configured the right way. You can see what I have here, off, 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 off. 
not apps that I need notifications from. I don't need notifications from a game or from a wallpaper app. So just go ahead and turn them off completely. The same thing goes for privacy right here, location services. I don't turn it on unless I need it because a lot of apps will use your location. A lot of system services will actually use your location. So that will consume a ton of battery. So that is it for this video, guys. These are five easy hacks that will improve the battery life on any iPhone. And of course, another five extra tips. Thank you guys for watching the video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Go ahead and subscribe for more. I'll see you on the next one.